the last first day of classes. I'm going into my fifth year of college. Also, as I'm filming this, I actually just got engaged four days ago. <laughs> so that is so exciting. So fun. So if you couldn't tell already, I am in nursing school. I transferred into nursing school, which is why I have an extra year because originally I was in the College of Arts and Sciences and I transferred a little bit too late and it added an extra year of college for me. So my twin brother actually just graduated this past May and he's leaving me behind because he went to UVA as well. And now I'm here by myself, but it's okay. I still got one more year and then I am graduated and then I can move in with my man. He's not in college anymore. He's already a full-time working man. Ugh. Oh, I'm so in love. I don't know why we're starting on a Tuesday. I can't even remember if we normally do that in past years. But I have clinical today, and then I have lecture classes tomorrow. Normally before the start of the semester, I like to just like really get my stuff together, get into a routine, but I also just have not had any time to do that because I was too busy getting engaged. I literally just got back last night and I got my groceries at like 7, 8 p.m. So we're just gonna survive today. As much as I'm excited to be done, I'm also excited to be back. And it's gonna be so fun to show everybody my ring. I almost forgot, my mom always wants us to send the first day of school pictures, so I need to do that. <laughs> Why am I kind of nervous to like go to my classes with a ring on? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to classes, I'm going to clinical. I'm so glad it started late today too. It was so nice to sleep in a little bit. Here at lunch. How's everybody's day going? It's okay. It's good. Not too bad. It's, it's been a pretty chill first day. Very slow, but fun. We're about to do a little sim lab where we just are practicing our skills. We have a really good group. Hi guys. Ooh. Maybe I should put like a little warning. Like if you don't want to see fake wounds, look away. Ooh. Actually, I mean, yeah, this is pretty um, safe content. Yeah. Let's say hello, patient. I would say it was a pretty solid first day. Just a lot of review of skills that we already know. I'm eating some mangoes. Even though I'm allergic to mangoes, I'm technically allergic to the skin of mangoes because if you didn't know, the skin of mangoes has the same toxin as poison ivy on it. And I'm just really allergic and sensitive to poison ivy. So it gives me a poison ivy reaction. But these are pre-sliced mangoes. And I still get like a little bit of a reaction, but it's like really not bad in comparison to fresh mango. It's worth the risk to me. I just don't like touch it with my fingers and I try not to touch it to my skin. Today was honestly so fun. I got to catch up and see quite a few of my nursing friends and everyone was just like so celebratory of me getting engaged and just like still sounds so crazy to say that out loud. I literally still can't believe it. I'm like, wow, I'm a whole fiance. Anyway, I have a couple hours before my Bible study is meeting for dinner tonight, which I'm also so excited to celebrate with them too tonight. But I have a couple hours until that, so I am going to go meal prep a little bit. right now but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. We have some smashed baked potatoes with some ground beef on top and onions. When I go to eat them I'm gonna scoop on some corn and some black beans and then I also have cilantro, tomatoes on the vine, and I have some bags of shredded cheese so then I can add that and then some plain Greek yogurt which is like a substitute for sour cream. The other meals that I made it's not mixed up or anything right now just because it's like overflowing but it's the pasta mushrooms and some shredded chicken and then I'm gonna mix it up with pesto. I probably will mix it up with pesto after I heat it up. I am now off to have dinner with my Bible study. I'm really excited to see everyone and they're also giving out free Chick-fil-A, which I am all about. One of my nursing friends is living on the lawn and I didn't know that, but I was walking by and he just handed me a cup of bullfrog. He was like, here you go, congratulations, Carrie. I'm so gonna be late to this little dinner thing though, but it's okay. I feel weird holding this like solo cup of gold rock though, so I'm probably gonna throw it out really soon. We'll have a couple sips because it's actually really cold and really nice to drink because it's like 90 degrees out right now. Oh, look at how beautiful. The rotunda is so pretty. 
Hello. Hi. This is Caitlin. Hi. Caitlin is in my Bible study, obviously. She's actually my one-on-one. -on -one. Well, are you still my one-on-one? -on -one yeah, girl. Semester? Okay, yay. <laughs> she was my one-on-one -on -one last semester, and she is again this semester, where we just like meet and have coffee once a week, or dinner, or whatever. And now we're having Chick-fil-A. Yeah. We're both engaged. <laughs> Crazy. She got engaged in May. And I just got engaged four days ago. Come back to school, both engaged. I know. Oh, you brought your Yeah, do you guys want to be on the vlog? Oh my yeah. gosh. Hello. Hi. This is Emily, Emily, and Hannah. <laughs> I always vlog the first day of classes, so this is year five, going strong. Yeah. Which is crazy, because I like started my title right when I started college. So pretty. That's so beautiful. I'm driving back to my apartment now. I had walked to the lawn, but I ended up driving Caitlin back to her place because she has a really, really long walk and it's super dark out and I did not want her walking 30 minutes in the dark by herself. I need to go to bed soon. I have four classes tomorrow. I did this entry pretty quickly because I want to shower and then head to bed soon. I actually have a couple other things I want to do before bed. But I said happy first day of classes and I just did little like doodly things around it with a black pen. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I used these Pentel sign brush pens and I said it's my last first day. What a good day it was. I really enjoyed my clinical group and it was just so fun celebrating my engagement with friends. I feel so blessed to have so many people happy and excited for us. And I was able to get a lot of meal prep done and also had dinner on the lawn with my core group. Our first Bible study of the semester is next week. And I already can't wait. Overall, I'm excited to graduate, but it's definitely good to be back. It was a sweet day. That was a very rambly paragraph, but that's okay. I am going to go have a quick shower and do a couple other things and just chill out for the rest of the night and go to bed. Hi. Hello, fiance. Beyonce. 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 <laughs> How are you doing? <sighs> good. It's the second day of classes and I just wanted to vlog a little bit today because it is gonna feel like the actual first day of classes since I see my whole cohort today and I just can't wait to see everybody. Gotta love the School of Nursing. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is Jazzy. Hi. We actually met, when did we meet? Like a month over ago? The, yeah, over the summer. She was in clinical and I was working on the L&D unit. And here we are now and we're, she's like, she looks very familiar. Did I go to high school with her? And then I realized it was because before coming here, I used to watch her videos. Which is so fun and so cute. I love it. I was like, oh my gosh, stop. I get to be a YouTuber I watch. <laughs> and she's also my classmate now, which is so exciting. I know. She's an ABSN student, which is like the accelerated program. She like joined up with my cohort. Also, follow her on TikTok. Here's the handle. We're about to have our third class of the day, which is real. It's like a three part class that we had. So this is the third part of it. And then my fourth class of the day is asynchronous, which is really awesome. Well, it's asynchronous today, but we meet in person for the first time next week. Little fit check, which I never did. It's just a little dress and some sandals because it's 90 degrees outside. I am home. There's just so much going on and I have so much to do and so many emails to send for school and for my business. There's just a lot to do. Also, I might be last minute switching into a clinical that is tomorrow. Anyway, I just got this in the mail. They are little like ring sizers. You can see they're little springs. My ring definitely fits, but it spins a lot, especially when my fingers are cold. So I got these little ring sizer adjuster things. Oh look, that's so easy. See, you just are like twisting it on and then I'll cut off the excess. I ended up just like cutting a very small piece. We'll try it out for a little bit. I just went into like school stress mode for the past, I don't even know how many hours. I just made myself a little loaded baked potato bowl, taco baked potato bowl, potato taco bowl, as you can see, there's the baked potato smashed up on the bottom. Then there's the ground beef. And then what else do I have? I have black beans, corn, shredded cheese, and then tomatoes, cilantro, and Greek yogurt on the top, which is like an amazing substitute for sour cream. Wow. I'm sorry, but 
this is literally just the best thing ever. My fiance and I, it's literally never gonna get old by the way. My fiance and I, we decided we were gonna make like a little family recipe book. I don't know when we started it, but there's only one recipe right now, but we like added it, I don't know, like a couple months ago maybe. This though is gonna be the second recipe. This one is amazing. It's just like a Google document, but basically the idea is that we're going to add any like recipe for breakfast, lunch, or dinner that we really like, and then whenever we're deciding what to make for meals that week, we're just gonna scroll through our little Google document. Maybe we'll like print it out, put it in a binder, and then we can see like recipes that we've had together and be like, ooh, that was really good. We should make that this week. And it'll just be like our little idea book. And then as we are sharing our lives together, we will just add different recipes throughout our whole marriage, which is so cute and so fun. We're both really excited about it. And I'm really excited about this. I sent him pictures of it and said, loaded baked potato taco bowl? Not sure what to call it. And then I also said, this is so bomb. This is definitely going in the recipe book. And he said, that looks so good. It's perfect. Like you, he's the best. Mm. And this is this is really good too. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I was going through all of the pictures and videos from the wedding that I photographed because I told her I would get them to her this week. Anyway, apparently I have clinical tomorrow. The psych clinical, that's only half the semester. I was in the second half of the semester and now I just got moved into the first half of the semester. So I have clinical tomorrow. Petra Carey here. I just got back from my psych clinical and I wanted to show you guys the pens that we use on the unit. So these are the safety pens that they have. On a psychiatric unit, anything can be used as a weapon and you just want to be mindful of that so that there's there's nothing that a patient can use to harm themselves or others and so we have these pens that are flexible and they have these little plastic flexible caps they're really hard to write with because they're like so flimsy but I just thought it was pretty cool and I figured I'd show you guys since you know obviously I love pens so here you can see me about to use the pen like it just is so small and hard to grip if you hold it really tightly at the end you can kind of write well my name it just feels like it's gonna fall out of my hand is Carrie honestly I think I have pretty decent handwriting but it's still hard to make it nice and neat. It's not so cool though. It's literally just like pen ink in a little plastic tube. So cool. Anyway, back to the video. I actually prefer the first half of the semester because then I can get it over with. Since it's on a Thursday too, it means I'll have four day weekends towards the end of the semester, which is really awesome because when I'm able to visit my fiance later in the semester, it means I'll have an extra day with him. And then also at the very end of the semester, I'll end one day earlier. So that's all really great and dandy, but it's a little bit stressful right now because I was planning on having all day tomorrow to film and grind and do all of the things that I really really need to do and now I don't have tomorrow. <laughs> okay it's way later. I've just been grinding so much. I'm about to journal for the night. I am just gonna do a quick little journal entry and then go to bed because I have clinical in the morning and I'm getting really sleepy and I need to grind tomorrow after my clinical because I'm wanting to film the engagement announcement video tomorrow which will have already been uploaded by the time you're seeing this vlog but I want to film it tomorrow so that I can edit it on Friday before I work all of this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. The grind never stops but at least the grind is all very joyous fun exciting things but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys